We're across the river from Alligator Point where most of the damage was done in the last hurricane. We're just down from Favors at a place called the Trade Wind Marina. The marina was hit pretty hard too. And uh, one of the mobile homes that was sitting here, tied down, uh, is now in the shape you see it. What was your name, sir? Norm Faulkner. And you were the owner of the yeah, mobile I'm, home? I'm the owner of it, or how was long, the owner. How long had you had it? I bought it about a month ago. You did have it tied down. Yeah, this is one of the tie-down straps. It, the stakes are still in the ground. There's one over there, and the other one is under the bed here. But the I guess the uh, water pressure coming in from the beach was just too much for it, and it broke them. I haven't checked to see how many of them are broken, but the trailer disintegrated, although the straps didn't did not come out of the ground. It's kind of scattered all over the general area here. Uh, yeah, I've picked up pieces about as far down as a mile, mile and a half down the road. Now we're about, oh, what, 20 feet maybe from the, uh, the gulf? At high, at high tide, uh, it comes up to those jetties there. Uh-huh. So Normal was, high tide. You think it was probably water damage rather than rain? I think it's mostly, uh, mostly water that came over the, the uh, jetty and washed it out. Uh -huh. What did you think when you first saw this? I was somewhat discouraged. You weren't ready for this, I bet. Yeah. Just no, we just, we just finished getting the plumbing and electricity and the other things on it. Uh, about a week ago, we finished up with that. You going to put another one on? Yes, I think so. This lot, this lot or a little farther back well, in the trees? I don't know. I may jack it up a few feet higher if I put it on this lot. Otherwise, I may go back by the wet storage docks back there and put it up there. The uh, Boats that are in wet storage, about 200 yards from here, is only one of them got any damage at all. You're not uh, discouraged about mobile homes, then? Right? No, I, I realize they're not built like houses are, and uh, they'll tear apart and, uh, when they get water hitting them. You going to tie it down next time? Yes, you have to, to get the insurance. Oh. I think they blow over without the tie-downs. They will blow over from a wind. I think the tie downs will probably save you that, unless you got a real high wind, but it just won't uh, keep them from blowing to pieces with the water damage at high tides. Now, this is one of the 10 tie down rods that we had on the trailer. It's only the only one that uh, came out 10 or 10 or 12, I'm not sure which, but uh, that was buried in the ground up to about that point dig a hole with a post hole digger and then it's got a threaded flange on the end of it screw it on down after that and cover it up mm -hmm. so the, all but this one tie down rod actually stayed in the ground and the trailer just broke apart underneath him well norm i hope you have better luck next time uh well, thank you <laughs> it's it's nice down here uh, without the wind thank you for telling it about us uh, telling us about it would you like okay. a a plate and a Thank spoon? You. Well, I can't use that. I can use, use that. We've found about a dozen of those so far. Yeah. Bob Charles at the Trade Winds. We're out at Paradise Village, Shell Point, uh, looking at the aftermath of uh, Agnes, Hurricane Agnes. I'd like you to meet Ted Gilbert. He's also the uh, manager here. Ted, what happened to you during the hurricane? Well, not very much, really. This is one of the houses that was damaged. It suffered minor damage around the top. The trim was blown away, and you can see where it was bent back on the screen room. Uh, none of our houses suffered any major damage because they were also firmly anchored to the ground, and we also had no water damage. Everything here is anchored, right? Every, everything is anchored. Every building here is anchored, and, and none of them were moved by the storm. That is a Wakulla County regulation? That is a state regulation that is applicable in Wakulla County, right? There's no such regulation in Leon at this time. That's right. Could you show us what the tie-downs look like? Sure. This is a tie-down. This is the standard tie-down that we use all throughout the park. This rod is in the ground three feet and has a, a five-inch diameter auger on the end of it, a blade that really grips the ground. These straps go all the way over the house under the skin to a tie-down on the other side. Back here, we have what we call a corner tie down, which is a cable fastened to the same anchor that goes over the frame of the house at all four corners. These tie downs are spaced every 10 feet on every house in the park. And these go all the way over the top, and you've got another tie down on, on the, the other, other side. side right? it's, it's one unified strap 
that holds the whole house down. Now, these are embedded in concrete or what? No, they're embedded in the ground. And they're, they're screwed into the ground? Screwed right? into the ground, three feet. And that holds it? It held it through the hurricane and it's held it through a tornado, so I guess it does hold them. How much does it cost to do this? It costs us about $9 uh, for each tie down installed, so a house like this would cost us $90. The water is down now, it's, it's actually at mid-tide, but during the hurricane it came up over the sea walls, but it didn't get into the houses due to the fact that we have two feet additional elevation here in Paradise Village. This dock suffered some damage as did some other external structures, but the, we feel that Paradise Village has really stood, withstood the test of the fury of nature in that uh, the tie downs did hold, the houses were not moved, and the damage was minimal. Yeah, you're a good example of tie downs here. Congratulations. Thank you very much.